So first of all, let's look at this. It says, a potakot man breaks down in tears as his lover, he trained in school, abandoned him to wed another man. Okay. Look at the man, fully heartbroken, and he's in tears. Allah no reach this guy's side. I'm going to put it that way because if you've been following me in this channel last year, who remembers when I said that you don't pay the school fees of a lady? That is performing husband duties for a lady you're not married to. It's a form of adultery in case you don't know. Same thing with some women that perform wife duties for a man that they are not married to. Do you understand? Dating is like testing the ground, proving what you can do if you get married. It's not a place to start performing husband duties. If you perform husband duties, she doesn't need you again. She has seen the extent you can go and hypergamy will, will kick in and then she will want a man that is better than you. It is a natural biological evolutionary uh, uh, system in women that they are supposed to instinctively look for a man that is better. You can't, you can't fight biology. I'm telling you. This your wife now or your, your girlfriend will leave you if she sees a man like you that is better. Even you as a guy. Do you understand? Men do it sometimes. They see a guy, a lady that is better than their girlfriend, they will leave. So if you truly like a lady and you want to pay her school fees, that is the thing you want to do with your money. That's fine. Marry her first. Do you understand? Once you have gone through dating, which is hanging out with the lady, you know, and everything that is involved with dating, and you really, really want to uh, like her, you want to marry her, don't wait till after school. Are you the mumu? Go and see her parents, do traditional wedding first, even if it's a very tiny traditional wedding, you know, so that you can have extra money to pay her school fees. Once you have wedded her, she moves into your house. Sometimes she might even live in the school, hostel or whatever, going to school. You know you have a wife. Any money you are paying, you are paying it with your full chest. You understand? <laughs> you, want to, you want to have start having kids. Education does not stop marriage. Education does not stop kids. <laughs> because some who marry, they will accept the whole traditional marriage. They will be taking pills to prevent pregnancy. Before you know it, she has graduated and she says she's not marrying again. You are looking for a child for four years, five years. You can't see a child. You don't know that the woman is taking pills. No more. The world has changed. It's not like in those olden days. If it's in the olden days, you know, there will be agreement between the two families. This man will train this daughter. This daughter will marry. So when the daughter wants to change her mind later, it's going to be difficult because the two families will be against it. This is modern days. You don't do things like that again. So you are the one that caused your heartbreak. I don't even blame the lady. As a young lady that has seen a man that is better than you, she will leave. It's normal. It's very, very normal. I don't blame the lady. She did what her biology says she should do. Now, if you're a young person and your woman leaves you, she's betting that her future with another man will be better than yours. She has betted that your future is not good for her. Maybe you're not going to be rich enough. Maybe you're not going to be a good man. Maybe you're not going to be a good husband or a good father. She has seen something that made her bet against you. And I'm telling you as a person, as a young man, if somebody bets against you like that, try and win that bet. Make sure that person loses that bet. Do you get what I'm saying? When I was in school, right, there was, um, there was a situation in an exam hall where I was asking a friend for something and he said he doesn't know it. You know, school days now. So I, when the results now came out, you know, after the results, they will now share the exam sheet. Everybody will get their exam scripts back. That was how we used to do school those days. I was keen to see how what the guys scored. When I got, the guys scored 100%. And I was asking the guy, but I asked you a certain question and you scored 100%. And he said, you don't know it, but at the end, it means that you wrote it. He said, well, why should I ask him? I should go and learn my own. Are we having two heads? Why can't I learn my own? I was like, fuck it, man. That was an insult. Like, immediately he said it, the thing hit me so hard. That was the end of the discussion. I just turned around then and left. and went and started, started studying my book. This was after exams. I started studying my book for the next semester. <laughs> and those days, uh, they used to tabulate number of results, which is, this guy scored around 13. We were like 100 in class. So his own came around 13. Okay, there was the first smartest guy, second, third, fourth. This guy was around 13. I vowed over my dead body. 
I must score higher than 13. I must beat this guy next semester. I started studying for that next semester. That was next term, right? Because it was secondary school. I started studying for that next term. From before the term even started. When the result came out, I scored third. I was third in class. Guess what bro scored? It was like 20-something. Bro, bro lost the bet, man. I, I, if I die today, I'm a fulfilled man. That's the same thing with dating. If your lady leaves you, it's not a thing to come to social media and start crying. You've made a mistake. You find where you made the mistake. You committed too much for a lady that has not done anything for you. You're paying the whole school fees, sending money for transport, sending money for me feeding. For a lady that's what did she do for you to deserve that? Nothing. You're paying me, you're paying premium price on something that will go to somebody else. Why didn't you use part of that money to secure the wedding, secure your marriage first? Pay maternity fee, make sure that your child is born. Then you pay all the you can pay the PhD. Why? Do you get what I'm saying? So now this girl has betted against this guy that his future will not be as bright as the other one she's wedding. She has made the bet. Now it's left for this guy to make sure that she fails, loses that bet. Do you understand? However rich he is now, he should make sure that he gets enough money in life. Make sure that he conquers the world, travels the world, you know what I'm saying? Build many businesses, run many companies. Do you understand? It's a bet. You try and win the bet. Build your mansion, buy many cars. Then marry you a beautiful lady that truly appreciates your spending. Because obviously that one does not appreciate your spending. She was using you, but you don't know, you don't get sense. So now you want a lady that if you spend on her, she will appreciate it. And that lady is there. There are many women like that. Not every woman is tricky. Make sure you win that bet. Conquer the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? Marry, marry a wife that truly loves you. That would appreciate. That in five, ten years time, if, if you run into that lady that left you, she will be regretting. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. If she sees your beautiful kids, beautiful wife, well-educated wife, since because it looks like this guy likes academics, right? Likes an educated lady. Make more money in life, bro. You will see many educated ladies that are praying for someone with a good heart like yours. Now, good heart killed this guy. He has a good heart to help, but he was not watchful. He go make Mumu MMM investments. That school fees he was paying for that lady is a MMM investment. Now, the money don't go. Heartbreak. So when you're making an investment as a man, you have to be strategic. You have to be sure of what you're doing. There's no woman that will trust the leadership of a man that is not sure. That lady, while you are paying the school fees, is looking at you as a fool. Because what? You are not sure that she will marry you. She's looking at you like that. This man cannot lead a family. That's what she's saying. That's what she's seeing you as. Do you understand? A woman can, can fall in, get into a relationship out of emotions and... But no woman will trust a man that is going into a relationship out of emotions. No woman. At all times, you're, you must be clear-headed. You must verify every single key component of what you're doing. Your children will be happy that you verified. Your mother, your father, your wife will always be appreciative that you verified. They will be proud to have a husband that is sure of things. It's not when things are going out of hand, you two will be confused. They're asking you, what will do we do? You say, well, well, what are we going to do? As a man, you be, have to be thinking five, ten steps ahead. From the day you meet the lady, you are thinking five, ten steps. Okay, now this is period of dating. From now on, we should be serious with the relationship. This is when uh, introduction is going to happen. If we don't meet this timeline, this girl is not serious. Leave her. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. You have to be thinking. Once a lady finds out that there's a man that you, you, you are to totally confused, she will leave you. I'm telling you. She will free you. Once you have lapses in your judgment, lapses in things, and she, she find out that it's just like staff in your office. Once your, your staff find out that you don't pay attention to key details, they will scam you until that company collapse. Before you find out that the, sta the staff is stealing, your company has been grounded. If you, if you call yourself a leader, you're in a leadership position, you must always make sure of things. Verify. Trust but verify. That's the language. Trust but verify. You know what I'm saying?